Welcome to my channel where I share with you tools and techniques for making your first feature film. Hello, I'm Jeremiah and in today's video I'm going to tell you how to find the best locations for your film project, what to look for, and how to get some of these locations for free. Okay, let's get started. Location, location, location. It's true for real estate and it's true for filmmaking. The locations where you shoot your movie are a big part of the overall look and feel of your film. And finding the right location takes time and effort. When I'm in pre-production on a film, I know I have to start two things as early as possible. Casting the lead actors and finding the right locations. Aloha. Especially when you're making a low budget film and you can't throw money at these things. When you're making a film for a hundred million dollars, you can typically hire the actors you want and pay for expensive locations or build elaborate sets. But when you're making a film for a hundred thousand dollars, then you've got to get creative. So how do you find the right locations for your movie, ones that are cinematic and will fit your story and your budget? And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. All right, let's jump in. The first thing I consider when looking for the right location is how it connects to the story I'm telling in my movie. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that I believe that storytelling is at the heart of filmmaking. And that means that almost every decision you make has to be connected to the story you're trying to tell. So when looking for the right location, you need to know how it connects to your story. Now, a few years back, I was producing a film called Trotteria. And as the name of the film implies, most of the action in the film took place in a charming Italian restaurant. Oh, now the other producers and I knew that finding the right restaurant to shoot in was really important. It was essential to the story we were trying to tell. And also, an audience member buying or renting a film called Trattoria, Trattoria, Trattoria. Anyway, <laughs> An audience member watching that film and seeing that it was shot in a fast food restaurant in a strip mall rather than a charming Italian restaurant, that person would be really frustrated, even if every other aspect of the film was terrific. You see this sign? The second thing I consider when looking for the right location is what does it tell the audience about the character? Is it an expensive, beautifully decorated high-rise apartment or is it a cluttered rundown shack or am I shooting in a lush garden or shooting in the desert? As soon as the audience sees that location on screen, I want them to know something about that character. A great example of this is the apartment that Steve Carell's character has in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. The place is clean, not fancy, well organized, and filled with toys, many of them in their original packaging. It's the apartment of a big kid, not that of a grown man. Now, production design and set decorating, like those toys and packaging, can also add a lot to how much a location tells the audience about each character. So keep that in mind and know how much you can change or modify the location you're shooting at and what is your budget for set decorating. Now, before I jump into the next thing on locations, if you haven't already, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, please post in the comments, I subscribed. And while you're there, I'd love to hear what you think of this video. This is a new channel and I really appreciate feedback. You're doing great. Okay, before we talk about finding good locations for free, I wanna talk about some practical things to consider when location scouting. And the first thing on my list is always lighting and power. How am I gonna light this location when I'm shooting? Are there lots of windows or skylights? Am I planning to shoot during the day or the night? And if I do, do I need to use a lot of lights? How much electricity do I have available? There was a movie I was producing and one of the main locations was a rundown house in San Francisco. The location was a perfect fit for the story we were trying to tell, but it really was an old rundown house with 75 year old wiring. And we knew that if we plugged in a lot of lights, we'd probably start a huge electrical fire. It was also in a quiet residential neighborhood, so bringing in a noisy generator to power the lights was not an option. And renting an expensive silent generator for five, $600 a day wasn't in our budget. So we had to get creative, and luckily a couple doors down, we found a fellow filmmaker who had just renovated his house 
and was willing to let us pull power from there. So we ran some cables from his house down to our location and our problem was solved. The next few practical things that I consider are noise, accessibility, and bathrooms. Now when thinking about a location, think about how noisy it will be. I'm shooting outside and there are issues of noise. There are birds chirping, there's some construction, sometimes they're blowing leaves around here, and there's also a big pack of dogs next door that tends to bark every once in a while. Now, I love dogs. Here's a shot of my golden doodle, Duncan. But when you're shooting outside and on location, you have to really be considerate about noise. And how accessible is the location? Are you shooting in a suburban ranch house where it's easy to drive up and then access every room? Or are you shooting on a secluded beach where you have to hike 10 minutes through the woods and then walk down a narrow path to get to the beach, all the while schlepping all your gear? And what about a bathroom? That beach may be gorgeous, but if you're planning to shoot there all day and there isn't a bathroom nearby or you can't bring in a portable one, then your crew and especially your actors are gonna have a miserable time of it. And the last thing I wanna talk about in this video is cost and figuring out how you can get locations for free. Yeah! Right? Locations can cost a lot of money. And a lot of people, when you ask if you can shoot a film at their business or their home, assume that because you're a filmmaker and you're making a movie that you have a lot of money. <laughs> now that's true for a Hollywood film, but it's not true for an independent low budget film. So there are a few ways to overcome this problem. And the first way is one I mentioned already, and that is to give yourself plenty of time to find the right locations for your movie. By having the time to knock on a lot of doors, you'll eventually find the right location that fits your budget. Now the next way is to reach out to your friend and family network and see if they have access to a good location, right? Maybe your uncle has a vacation home that would be perfect for your horror movie or maybe ask the manager at the restaurant you've been eating at for years if you could film there on one of the days they're closed. Offer to give them a credit in the movie, or if it's a business, maybe promise some free advertising by including a shot of the front of their building or their store in your movie. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you to exit the donut. And the last way I know how to get a location for free is to reverse engineer it. While you're writing your script, think about all the cool locations you have access to and then write them into your story. And thinking about what you can get for free is a really important part of making your first feature film. And it's actually one of the things I cover in my ebook, The Feature Film Fundraising Starter Kit. It's a book I wrote to help filmmakers raise the money they need to make their first feature film. And yes, it is free. So if you haven't done so already, please check it out. There's a link to it down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And when you do, please write in the comments, I subscribed. Cheers, and I'll see you next week. Noise. Yeah! Noisy.